Welcome back. Now, of Kenya's 184 COVID-19 deaths, most have been attributed to pre-existing conditions with diabetes being the leading cause of the deaths. A report by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics released on Thursday showed 15% of households in Kenya reported having at least a member with diabetes. Well, tonight we explore the correlation between diabetes and COVID-19, why people living with and managing diabetes are vulnerable population, and what they can do to reduce the risk. 45-year-old Thomas Nyandoro Kauzi, who lives in Surungai, Kapsabet, Nandi County, has been living with diabetes and hypertension since 2008. He worked as a hotel manager, but in that year in July, he fell ill, forcing him to take tests that confirmed his worst fears. He tells us that he spends 35,000 shillings every month to purchase drugs for both hypertension and diabetes and the right food. But during this time of COVID-19, managing his condition is becoming extremely difficult. His wife, who works as a BOM teacher in a private school, is out of work. Madawa kupata ni shida, shida, shida. Dawa tangu January. Dr. Yubrin Mora is an internal medicine physician. We ask her, what is the link between COVID-19 and diabetes? They are at risk because their immunity cannot keep the virus at bay. You have immune cells that cannot get rid of the virus. But again, when a diabetic becomes infected, their sugars go up. And when the sugars go up, you are faced with a situation where the virus in the high shape. Diabetes mellitus type 1 and type 2 is a distinctive comorbidity associated with more severe disease when one is infected with COVID-19, acute respiratory distress syndrome, which is most often the immediate cause of death. Very serious emergencies that result to death. Uh, too much acid in blood, what we call diabetic ketoacidosis, and other states uh, that can actually affect the brain. With scientists still trying to understand the SARS-CoV-2 virus, other scientists have documented a possible association between the AC2 receptor, the angiotensin converting enzyme 2, and diabetes mellitus. AC2 is largely expressed by cells in the lungs, kidney, intestines, and blood vessels. This type of enzyme plays an important role in protecting the lungs against acute respiratory distress syndrome. AC2 expression is reduced in patients with diabetes, which might explain the increased predisposition to severe lung injury with COVID-19. But also at the same time, too much expression of AC2 is also counterproductive in COVID-19. The virus utilizes AC2 as a receptor for COVID-19. Patients with diabetes taking AC2 stimulating drugs widely used to manage the condition may experience the entry of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The virus finds it easier actually to attach. So the more um, a success in terms of producing the ACE uh, receptors, and then also the more successful actually the virus becomes in terms of attaching and actually multiplying into the body. According to a KNBS report released on Thursday, 15% of the households in Kenya reported having at least a member with diabetes. So what should people living with and managing diabetes do? You're a diabetic and you don't really have to leave your house, just stay at home. And if you have family that can support you, maybe they can go to the mall for you, they can do all those things for you. They have to make sure that their sugar control is well taken care of. They have to have a contact with a healthcare provider so that they can be, have someone they can reach if they develop any symptoms. If in addition, nutrition is very key. Thomas has to eat five meals in a day, avoid sharp objects that can cause wounds. <laughs> There is no telling when the COVID-19 pandemic will abate. Kenya is bracing for September peak and for vulnerable populations, protecting themselves is a matter of life and death. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.